Thank you very much, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna freewheel as well. So <laughs> could be could be crash and burn, or could be uh, could be a success. Um, much of the thunder was stolen by a lot of the other distinguished speakers, so I won't I won't rehash um, the importance of Memorial Day, and that it's not about cookouts; it's about rem remembrance. Um, it was great to hear from Brian talk about the 104th Infantry, which you know we used to refer to as the, the Grand Army of, of the West, right? <laughs> Us folks out here in Western Mass um, always don't get all the accolades that our Eastern, Eastern partners get. Um, so that was great to hear. And great words from everybody else. Real quick, um, I will just hit on a few things and, and tell you first off how busy the citizen soldiers of the Commonwealth are. And so in the Mass Guard, um, you know, Army National Guard and Air National Guard, we have about 8,000 soldiers and airmen, about 6,000 Army and about 2,000, 2,200 Air. Super, super busy organization over the last few years with COVID. Uh, we've been into dozens and dozens of um, hospitals. And even though he's not in uniform right in front of me right now, that's Colonel Mike Lazo. He's the director of the Holyoke Soldiers Home. And um, even though he's not wearing this uniform, you know, he's still a citizen soldier in the midst of the Commonwealth, you know, helping, helping uh, do great things. Um, Mass Guard's very busy. We just returned home the 101st Field Artillery Regiment. They were overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan. And if you watched the news a couple months ago and when everybody was getting out of uh, Kabul International Airport, uh, the rockets that were being fired at that airport to try to keep those C-17s from evacuating personnel. Those rockets were shot down by Massachusetts National Guardsmen from the 101st Field Artillery Regiment. Um, and so they were based in Iraq and Afghanistan, got out of Afghanistan. Uh, they just got home about, about a month ago. And so, you know, we honor their service. Um, this year alone, we have about a thousand soldiers going out the door to deploy overseas um, around the world for global force uh, requirements. We have 555 going out the door from the 182nd Infantry Regiment. Uh, they're based out of Eastern Mass, primarily Melrose. Um, we have the 126th Aviation Battalion deploying. We have the 272 Chemical Company deploying. We have a few engineer detachments deploying, and we also have notification of sourcing for units that will go out the door, uh, you know, 18 to 24 months from now. So, very, very busy, and um, as, as the distinguished speakers uh, mentioned, you know, when you see somebody in uniform and you just give the, hey, thanks for your service, you know, ask them a question um, and, and strike up that conversation because those folks are, are amongst us. They're doctors, lawyers, teachers, nurses, soldiers' home directors, uh, you name it. Um, and, and they're everywhere across Holyoke. And uh, I was telling them, I'm right over the mountain in East Hampton, grew up in Springfield, and so, so many folks. Uh, so we're busy. <laughs> and, then, and then with Nick, I, I had an opportunity to walk through the exhibit, and it was already I already said, but you know, the uniforms, if they could speak, they'd tell a story. And I know I don't look it, but I have 30 years of service, so I've been wearing the uniform for 30 years. And you know, I grew up through a few of those uniforms that are in there. And so it kind of brings me back to being a private and wearing the old green Class A uniform, uh, to wearing the, the current Army Service uniform. And then I was telling Nick that. Um, there's a uniform in there that's World War II, there's an Ike jacket and an old World War II uniform, and the Army's actually going back to that uniform. So in the, in the coming time, um, you know, you'll see soldiers that look like they're stepping out of the books of a, a World War II film because the Army's moving back to that uniform. Uh, it's called the AGSU, Army Green Service Uniform. And so, unbelievable exhibit, and I uh, hope you take me up on coming out to see some of our stuff as well. And um, thank you for your time and attention, and, and I just want to thank everybody that's wearing the hat. I see the big red one, Air Force retired. I see so many things that 
when when I see it and when service members see it, we know what that means. But um, just want to say thanks for your service, and I hope you enjoy the exhibit. Thanks.